Hi and welcome to another junk journal session, brand new journal. This is the first time I'm using one that I have not made myself. So I've been doing junk journaling since a little over half a year and I've always used junk journals that I made myself and this one was gifted to me by my wonderful friend Allison and she surprised me with it in one of one of our happy mail exchanges and I'm just showing you a quick flip through of this. I love the variety of paper she has included as well as fabric flip ups, floral pages, ledger pages, music sheets, um, Tim Holtz paper pads, Edith Holden original pages, onion skin, four languages, coffee stained paper, some tag flip ups. So I love it all and I had to journal in this. And I was kind of in a, dile in a dilemma because I kind of also wanted to use it for my personal journaling. But then I decided to challenge myself to use this for my junk journal with me, YouTube sessions. And I was actually a bit anxious to use this because the style is different than my style and I want to try not to bulk it up. So that's going to be a huge, huge challenge for me. If you see my previous journals, they always turn out to be gator mouth. So this has a lot more pages than previous journals. So it's going to be a huge challenge for me to, to do this. But let's see how that goes. And um, I will show you here in a moment the other three journals that are still available probably by the time I am posting this. So if you're interested, I have her Instagram handle in the description box below where um, you can just message her if you're interested. Okay, so the first thing I wanted to add in this journal was this beautiful vintage postcard I received from Amy from her vacation on Maui and these are some Tim Holtz um, washies that I recently ordered from Amazon. I will link those below as well. So I wanted to kind of stay true to the Tim Holtz theme of this book and I'm just showing you the variety of the washi tapes which are absolutely adorable. But what is this? like this glittery blue thing, how does that fit to the set? I have no idea and kind of annoyed about it because it's not one I'm gonna use. And I wanted to show you there's not a whole lot on these rolls. So that's a little bit disappointing too for the price, but the design is gorgeous. It's Tim Holtz, we all love Tim Holtz. So I guess that's what we're paying for. <laughs> so I wanted to attach this beautiful postcard uh, as my first page in this book and I wanted to attach it to this floral page because I think those flowers look like they could be on Hawaii, the ones in the back, yeah, these. And I just covered up my address and I'm just gonna leave it there like that but I did want to also attach some washi tape on that back side to um, stabilize it a little bit. So that's page number one and I'll be making a few pages here. I'll also be using some more of Demi's wonderful Happy Mail items. And I also wanted to, to try to do something on that first page where that tag was flipped over. And I had recently made these tickets using the Tim Holtz Ticket Booth die set and stamp set, which I will also link below. And I just added some vintage girl images that I had received in a happy mail and there's one here with this bird um, this is a bird sticker from Aliexpress and a stamp that I put underneath and I just wanted to add a little saying these are from the children's book pages there is a great video about these from Natasha from treasure books with which I have linked before and will link again so I want to go with one of these two and I decide to go with this was the day because I thought I would journal about this is the day that I'm starting this journal and my feelings about doing that. So I am just very quickly going to adhere that collaged ticket and that saying onto the page after distressing, <laughs> distressing the edges. And actually, after I used this vintage photo, I decided to try something else. So I'm using my, my black stays on ink 
directly from the ink pad and going over the edges like that and I actually really love that effect. It's totally different than just distressing it with the vintage photo and I don't know how well you can see it here but really love that and I'm gonna do the same thing with the ticket as well. So I wanted to read you what I actually wrote on that tag and I decided to I this I decide to actually start writing on the front of the tag because there was space and because it said memora memoranda on it so I thought let's just write there and then continue on the inside so what I wrote is uh, this was the day I decided to start creating in this beautiful journal made for me by Allison I love it so much and for the first time since I have started my junk journaling I'm a bit anxious about in quotes ruining the journal. I love the style which is quite different to mine and I feel like I don't want to change it. But is it possible to still be true to myself while changing my style? So very philosophical question here. This is actually a question that I have discussed a few weeks ago with one of my um, journal consulting sessions. Um, a fellow creator was going through the same question actually and it was a very interesting discussion and I believe she in the meantime found her way and her style and is happy with it so that was a awesome um, conversation to have with her and now I feel like I'm in a similar situation <laughs> anyway I, I like how that turned out and next I'm adding this beautiful book page from Demi's Happy Mail if you want to see that video I will link that below as well if you want to see all those goodies that I received and I love the colors of it because I think it fits the colors of this journal so well and what I decide to do with it, I wanted to use that little yellow um, page to form a little pocket. And so I'm first going to washi that, um, that post, it's not a postcard, uh, <laughs> that page into the journal with this beautiful washi, which I ordered from an Etsy store. Um, and the store is called Pipizaka store. <laughs> I probably just butchered that name. I will link all their details below. And I also got this beautiful um, yarn from them. I love that so much. I will be using one of those in this episode as well. This is Avril yarn and I love it. And for this washi is amazing. Um, because it's a huge roll as well, so not like the Tim Holtz washies. This is much, much better. And I've already um, taken some of that off, so that's not even the full roll. And I love this kind of washi because it's so matte and it feels like paper, so you can, I'm sure you can write on it really well. So I'm going to just attach that to the page. And then I'm going to just take some very thin double-sided tape to glue down the pocket. Oh yeah, I do that on the inside as well, I forgot. And that was kind of a waste to use the Tim Holtz because in the end you're not going to see it anyway. I should have used the washi that I don't like, but yeah. So now I'm just adhering the double-sided tape to make that into the pocket. Yeah, so that's the pocket and it's not thick because that paper is so thin. And I wanted to decorate the front and I'm using a part of a children's book that I have recently used to make some tags out of and I'm just using my tear, tear ruler also linked below two different links for that and I really like uh, the style of this children's book it's so vintage and I'm just gonna glue that on the front after having inked those edges 
and inside I wanted to put one of Demi's beautiful flowers that she sent me so I'm just gonna open this pack and see which ones I wanted to put inside and I choose three smaller ones that I'm gonna put together so that's two of them these are so cute I don't know if she has a garden or something or where she got them yeah there's the third one so I wanted to combine those three and I wanted to put them in one of these little cellophane packaging pieces I think we all have those from various shops <laughs> so first I tried just putting an in, putting them in like this just trying to arrange them nicely and then sticking them in but I very soon realized that obviously they're just gonna float around and yeah that's not what I was going for so I decided to take them out again and to actually join them with one of the Tim Holtz washies to arrange them again in a nice way and then just to adhere those inside that cellophane pocket which was a bit fumbly but it did work and since the pocket was too big I just cut it down a little bit and now I'm just cutting off the excess bulk like I would with an envelope and then just cut that part off it's I know it's hard to see and then just so now I kind of have a flap with cut off corners and I'm going to fold that down just like you would a coin envelope and I'm going to close that flap with this beautiful typewriter fall washi tape yeah so I really like that and I tried putting that in the pocket like this but then I realized it kind of disappears completely more or less so I thought okay let me actually punch a hole through it which was not working by itself because these hole punches don't punch through this acetate so I I put a paper underneath and that worked better Yeah, there you see the hole and I thought I would also add an eyelet just to make it a little more special because these flowers are so adorable that they deserve a very special kind of pocket. <laughs> and so this is where I'm going to use that one Avril yarn that you've seen and I'm going to go for this grayish one. And I wasn't sure how I'm going to attach that, but in the end, I decide to make a bow, which, because this yarn is kind of very, has a very smooth surface, so I, I, after I filmed, actually I had to make a double knot, because otherwise that would have kept opening, but it's so cute. So now I'm just going to put it in there, and now you have that yarn sticking out and that's that's very sweet so moving on to the next page I also still had this one card from Demi that I didn't use in my previous journal so I wanted to attach that as well and I thought it would fit so cute next to these other flowers so I'm usually I would have made a pocket with it but as I'm really trying not to bulk this up too much, I decided to glue it down and kind of make a collage. And I also wanted to use one of her beautiful tea cards that she sent me, which I'm so in love with. And she has these floral ones, and there were two that would have worked really well. And I decided to go for this one with this scene under the, sea, under the ocean, which I really like, and the colors worked really well. And I thought it needed something else, so I, I used two different of her washies to just kind of border that, um, that card. And I must say, this is the page of the ones I did today that I like least. 
Um, I don't like the way it turned out in the end. I don't know if I've lost my touch for collaging. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I'm not happy with it. But yeah, I'm gonna leave it anyway. And since I thought there wasn't enough collaging, I also wanted to add this beautiful washi that Demi sent me. And actually it was on a very cute playing card. Um, this is a William Morris washi and I adore it. So I wanted to use that as well. I like the contrast that it gives under that card, which I'm now going to glue down. But then I also thought I wanted to write something somewhere and since there was no spot for me to do that, I was going through some of my labels to see where I could fit a label on which I could just write something small. And so I'm kind of auditioning some of the labels that I have here. These are from Amy from My Happy Mail. These are from AliExpress. I can link those down as well. So here I felt very insecure about what I was doing. I just, I didn't really like any of those labels anywhere on the page. And yet I thought it just wasn't finished the way it was. And maybe you can see I'm kind of struggling. Nothing is working for me. <laughs> I keep thinking there has to be a way that it works. This is actually a die cut that I have. This as well was too big. And I thought maybe this, this is also from a Happy Mail. Maybe I should have used that one. Maybe that one would have been better. In the end, I go with this one. And I do kind of tuck it underneath there. I don't know, I just don't like the composition of it. But in any case, what I write there is, I wish I could be by the sea. <laughs> very simple, very true, because I'm not going anywhere on vacation this summer. I'm hoping to go in October to the Red Sea for some snorkeling, which is also why I wanted to choose this underwater card. Yeah, so that's that page. Hmm. I guess we can't love every page in the journal and the journal is for experimenting so it was okay to have that there this is a beautiful envelope and card that I found recently at my goodwill and I really love it so what I decided to do with it was to add it to this journal as well and so I'm looking for a page and I really love love it there because of the flower on the other side and I would have made that flap into a pocket, but again, I am really restraining myself and it was really hard to just glue that on that page. But I did and I love the way it looks. I might add something to that page at a later time. For now, I'm just going to leave it. And the back side, of course, this envelope is way too plain. So I wanted to do a very simple collage. So these are also some some beautiful images from books that Demi had sent me and I'm trying to decide which one I wanted and I'm gonna go for that one um, the one I'm holding in my hand yep this one and I'm going to add this beautiful dragonfly that was actually that I I, um, I have a die cut for which I will also link below um, so first I'm just gonna ink everything up as well as this dragonfly and it was still too plain so I added some more of that Tim Holtz washi but first I wanted to glue that down and for this collage I didn't really feel like it needed to have any quote or words on there because there was a word on that by or by that image by the way that's dutch because demi is in in the netherlands and also one of the, those washies again has those letters with this type font so i really didn't think it needed anything else so now i'm trying to glue on this dragonfly and um yeah you will see There we go. I 
totally tore its wing and it broke my heart. But I decided to keep going. I wasn't going to let that ruin my page. So I decided to stick it down and because apparently it was very fragile now, I decided to put some Mod Podge on top of it. This is a matte Mod Podge, so I'm just going to put plenty of that on there with my sponge brush just to make sure that it will stay on there securely and I don't have to worry about it breaking or coming off. And since I am very impatient, I just um, dry that with my heat gun. And even though it's a matte uh, Mod Podge, you can see it's still quite shiny actually, but it's okay. It doesn't really bother me. And then I have this beautiful card that was also from Demi in her Happy Mail with some writing on the back about the stamps that she had included. So that's the one I'm putting in that envelope. And I originally wasn't going to include this card. It's a very thin card. It's more like a paper. But actually I love it so much that I decide to just stick it in there as well. And I love it on that music sheet paper. And that's it actually. That's all I'm going to do for this time. And I do hope there was some inspiration here. I don't know if you saw, I felt quite insecure with what I was doing in this book. I still need to get a better feeling for it, but I hope that will come in the next episodes. And I hope you enjoyed it anyway, and do hope to see you back in the next one on Thursday. Thank you so much for watching, and have a wonderful crafty day. Bye!